happening this weekend. There's a hot air balloon festival going on in Medford. There will be food, trucks, music, and of course, hot air balloons. And the best part, it's all put on by an organization dedicated to service. Our Chandler Lutz is live in Burlington County this morning for a preview of the event. You hopped in the hot air balloon last time. It looked like a whole lot of fun. What do we have going on now, Chandler? Yeah, Jan, I checked it off my bucket list. I finally got to go up in a hot air balloon. What an experience. Right as the sun came out, we are here at the Flying W Airport in Medford, New Jersey, where all weekend long there is a great Flight for Sight Festival, all benefiting New Jersey. The New Jersey Lions, and we have some here with us. Say hi, guys. Joining me again is Bob Friedel, the New Jersey Lions Council Chair. So, Bob, tell us about this event, all weekend long, happening right here. Yeah, so it happens right here. Where we have 16 hot air balloons flying, and we have one doing tether rides. Okay. That's the Remax balloon. But we have a lot going on. Like I said, we have the Eagles Sightmobile coming tomorrow. We have uh, crafters, food trucks, and big displays of everything the Lions do. And even at the, since we're at the W uh, Flying W, you have World War II aircrafts that people can see, right? We were going to have them, but unfortunately there was a death in his family. He can't oh. bring them this weekend. Okay, so twenty dollars at the door, right? Yeah, twenty dollars at the door. Any other moon glow happening on Saturday? Yeah, the moon glow is great because after dark they inflate again, and it looks like a row of jack o' lanterns lit up against the dark sky. So, Bob, why hot air balloons? because they bring attention to our cause. Mm -hmm. And tell us about the New Jersey Lions. Well, the New Jersey Lions has about 5,500 lions in the state of New Jersey. And we do everything. We do vision screening. And like I said, Lions is a big organization. Mm -hmm. And when Sandy hit New Jersey, the Lions donated $500,000 to put people back in their homes. And so far this year, the Lions have spent millions with Ukrainian refugees, the Turkey uh, earthquakes, we, we donated money to the Lions Club in East Palestine, Ohio, and the ones down in Mississippi that dealt with the tornadoes. So we help out any way we can. Yeah. And so this event is really benefiting all you guys can do for others and your yes. volunteer work. Can we see a balloon go up? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's you go where the wind blows you. There you do. I love it. And there they go. They're going up. A beautiful day. Not raining just yet, I have to say. So they're on their way up. The New Jersey Lions will wish you the best of luck at this event this weekend. Yes. And it's back for the first time since a little hiatus, right? Oh, yeah. We haven't had one since about 2005. Okay. Well, welcome back, and we are excited, and, and best of luck this weekend. Thank you, Bob. Oh, thank you. As long as the weather holds. As long as the weather holds. Kate, you heard that. What, what are we thinking? I mean, he's up there. We're not reading just yet here in Medford. It's it looks good sky, now, right? Yeah. It's beautiful. It's dry. There's some sun peeking through. Look at the blue out there. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. I've what always wanted event. to do that, too, and Me I've too. never done it. How have we never done it yet? We should all go on a hot air balloon ride yes. one day together. A little team bonding. We'll call it teamwork. There we go. get up in the sky. And hopefully we get back down. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. always my fear. We're well, going to drift off into the That's the, the thing, right? And with ballooning, it's all weather dependent. It though. is very weather dependent.